like to call the first, the second meeting of the month of December to order. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Present. Trustee Gata. Present. Trustee Arnett. Present. Trustee Mills. Present. Trustee Newell. Present. Trustee Palafis. Mayor McLeod. Can everybody please raise Trustee Stanton. You want to lead us in the pledge? My honor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Stanton. Welcome. In the interest of disclosure, I want to note that this meeting is being telecast live and will be shown throughout the uh, week on our cable channels. Move on to item number three, recognition of the audience. This is a time if someone has a question or a concern. For an item that is not on the agenda, now is the time to come forward. Going once, twice, three times, we'll move on. Do you accept a motion to approve the minutes of the eight, December 4th, 2017 meeting? So moved. Second. It's a motion. There's a second. Are there any additions or corrections to these minutes? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Move on to find cons consent agenda. Chair would accept a motion. So moved. Second. It's a motion and a second. Does anybody want anything pulled out of the consent agenda? The items that will be voted on in the consent agenda are the following. A, the approval of the agenda. B, approval of the schedule of bills for December 18th, 2017, totaling $9,881,585.95. $585 big numbers, big numbers. C, request board approval of a resolution adopting a policy prohibiting sexual harassment for the village of Hoffman Estates. D, request board approval of a resolution establishing fees for police and fire department personnel, higher back rates. E, request board approval of the 2018 Village Board and Standing Committee meeting schedule. F, request board approval of a request by the Hoffman Estates Park District for an extension of the Chino Park Intergovernmental Agreement to December 18th, 2037. G, request board approval of a request by Mr. Ace, LLC, doing business as Hoffman Estates Ace for approval of an incentive agreement for the Ace Hardware Store and the Crossroads Common Shopping Center. H, request board approval of an amendment to the purchase and sale agreement with SVAP Hoffman Plaza 4LP for the sale of 7585 East Gulf Road retroactive to December 6, 2017. I, request board approval of a contract extension for elevator inspection and plan review services to Elevator Inspection Service Company, Inc., Burridge, Illinois. J, request board authorization to 1, waive formal bidding, and 2, Award contract for purchase of a 2018 Ferrara igniter pumper to Ferrara Fire Apparatus Holden, Louisiana, in an amount not to exceed $587,000. K, request board authorization to purchase excess property and liability insurance and excess workers' compensation insurance from Alliant America's Brokerage Services. L, request board approval to enter an agreement for a bond council and possibly disclosure council Legal services with Lewis F. Kankar Limited for the upcoming bond refunding anticipation, refunding anticipated take place into FY 2018. M request board authorization declares $16,182,608.01 as a developer in taxing district allocation for tax levy 2016 within the EDA special tax allocation fund and direct the treasurer to remit said funds to the developer in taxing districts Poor Public Act 097-0636. And request board authorization to extend 2017 contract for 2018 contract to Parkway Tree Trimming Program to Winkler's Tree and Landscaping, Inc., LaGrange, Illinois, low bid, in an amount not to exceed $50,000. O, request board authorization to one, waive formal bidding, and two, purchase a porty Portage Message Board through Tapco Inc., Brown Deer, Wisconsin, <coughs> using the U.S. Community's contract discount in an amount not to exceed $17,644.35. Mayor? Yes. Do we need to vote on um, G separately since there were some changes to the document? That would probably be advisable, wouldn't it, Counselor? Which one are we talking about? G. Mr. The, Ace. The Ace incentive. There were some changes to the document. Yeah, to the cover resolution, there were mm -hmm. some changes. Yeah. We could. Probably so should the be. The resolution actually was a drafting committee. Yeah. You could do it either way. Okay. But whichever way. Hmm? Well, I just wanted to make sure that we were doing it the correct way. So why don't we pull G? Yeah. Just so it's on the record. 
We'll have a, uh, the, the vote then will be on 5A through F and H through O. There's a motion to second. Any questions? Seeing none, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. We move back to 5G, request board approval of a request by Mr. Ace, LLC, doing business as Hoffman Estates Ace for approval of an incentive agreement for the Ace Hardware Store in the Crossroads Commons Shopping Center. Chair, accept a motion. So, so moved. Second is amended. There's a motion and there's a second as the uh, agreement was amended. Is there any discussion on this? See no discussion. Can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Move on to 6A, President's Report. We do have some Great Citizens Award here. We have several of them. We have four. The Village of Hoffman Estates is proud to present the Great Citizen Award to Lieutenant Carl Baumert, Karen Arnett, Linda Sheck, Merrill Abrahamian, Antonio Garcia, Rick Wiemet, Phil Giacconi, Mark Wondolkowski, and Dan Stopka on Monday, December 18, 2017, in recognition of years of service leading the Shop of the Cop program, which helps local, fund, local underprivileged children and their families each year at Christmas time. These folks continue to seek and leverage support for this great program through volunteer recruitment, individual donations, and support from local businesses with in kind donations of products and services. We applaud all of them for doing their part in helping the Village of Hoffman Estates continue to grow to greatness. Can all you folks come on up? Carl, Merrill, everybody, come on up. Karen could be in two places at one time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have to run around a lot. We got Phil here too. <laughs> here you go, Phil. Thank you all. Thank you. Nice okay. to see you. Thank, Thank you. Karen? So We're going to done. Anybody stay up here for a picture? Karen, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for everything you've done. Uh, the book ends, right? Karen, can you switch up here too quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I got all the tall ones. Next. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. We have a uh, certificate of achievement to present also to Sam Devereaux. Is Sam here? Sam and your family, you want to come on up by the uh, speaker stand there for a minute? Is that your mom, Sam? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to both of you. The Village of Hoffman Estates is proud to present the certificate of achievement to Sam Devereaux. Let me give you a little information on Sam. On the right page here. Here we go. Samuel Devereaux, a junior at Conan High School, has been a part of the Hoffman Estates High School Special Olympics team since his freshman year and is competing in Special Olympics since the age of eight as part of the school district 54 Special Olympics team. Samuel competes in unified soccer and bocce ball, basketball, volleyball, snowshoeing, downhill skiing, and track and field. What do you do in your spare time, Sam? <laughs> Here is what he does. Samuel also participates in bowling and swimming outside of his high school activities. 
Additional noted accomplishments include being named Athlete of the Year for District 54 in 8th grade, making the Chicago Fire All-Star team, having the chance to speak to students at his former school, John Meade Junior High, about the Special Olympics, and receiving a gold medal alongside his sister at a state championship for bocce. And that's not all. Samuel also has his black belt in karate. Yes. Clearly, Samuel has come a long way since starting the Young Athletes Program. He's developed lifelong friends and has become a leader, friend, and helper to other athletes in the program. I'm happy to announce that Samuel will take part in the USA Special Olympic Games in Seattle, Washington, July 2018, representing Hoffman State High School and Team Illinois for track and field. Well done, Samuel. So, therefore, on Monday, December 18th, 2017, in recognition of his athletic accomplishments in the areas of soccer, basketball, volleyball, snowshoeing, and track and field with an Hoffman Estates High School Special Olympics program, Mr. Devereaux recently made the Illinois State Special Olympics team and will represent Team Illinois for track and field in the USA Games in July of 2018. Mr. Devereaux is known as a leader, friend, and helper to all the athletes in the program and we wish him the best of luck in his endeavors. Samuel, come on up. Mom, too. <laughs> Very well done. Nice going, Samuel. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mom. Good luck next to Ohio. Yes. Well, I'll be rooting for you. Great job. Let's get a picture of Samuel, Mom. Come on up. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We have some proclamations, I believe, Madam Clerk. We do. They're all spread out. We okay. sure do, and I get to have the oh, first sure. one. Uh, Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas exemplary public service employment is of vital importance in assuring provision of services directed toward the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens of any community, and whereas the Public Works Department has upon its roster an individual who should be commended for assisting said department in faithfully serving the citizens of this community, and whereas length of service, coupled with continued training and positive attitude toward assigned job tasks, make a profile of this dedicated employee. And whereas the village of Hoffman Estates, on behalf of its citizens, desires to acknowledge its indebtedness and gratitude for 30 years of dedication and proficiency in the aforementioned department. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by the virtue of the authority vested in him, by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, Hereby proclaim Thursday, December 21st, 2017, as Robert Marco Day in the village of Hoffman Estates, and urge all employees and citizens of the village to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation to this employee who may have assisted them with outstanding service. Chair, I'll accept a motion. So moved. Second. The motion is second. We appreciate the great uh, job that Bob has done for us for 30 years. Keeps those vehicles going along with his... Uh, his fellows there. <laughs> They're a horse drawn, I think, oh, weren't okay. they? <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carry. Come on up, Bob. Picture, Bob. You got anybody in your family here? Um, too? Yeah, my wife is Come on right up. Uh, Jen will take a picture with your camera. Yeah. We'll get a picture with you and Howard, too, after. You can give her says. your camera. She'll, she'll, take, she'll take a picture. She'll take a picture. Yeah. She'll do it. Yeah. <coughs> She's the only one that knows how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Wait, 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 wait. wait. Thank you. Thank you. Who is next? I am. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas exemplary public service employment is of vital importance in assuring provision of services directed toward the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens of any community, and whereas the police department has upon its roster an individual who should be commended for assisting in said department and faithfully serving the citizens of this community and whereas the length of service coupled with continued training and positive attitude toward assigned job tasks make a profile of this dedicated employee and whereas the Village of Hoffman Estates on behalf of its citizens desires to acknowledge its indebtedness and gratitude for 25 years of dedication and proficiency in the aforementioned department be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting, in, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaim Saturday, December 30th, 2017, as Carl Baumert Day in the village of Hoffman Estates and urge all employees and citizens of the village to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation to this employee who may have assisted them with outstanding service. Chair, I'll accept a motion. So moved. moved. Second. Motion and second. We appreciate the great job that Lieutenant Baumert has done for the police department. We also have to recognize, as we did earlier, what he does with shop with the cop for 18 years. He has spent countless hours organizing a strong committee to, to raise money for these funds and promote many different events. Golf outings, Seventh Heaven Brew Fest, it was previously Jingle Mingle. Bowling fund, fundraisers, you know it. <coughs> Carl's always out there raising money for Special Olympics, and we really appreciate it. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion here. Come on down, Carl. No, no, not no, a no, bit. No, no, no. Not but you. you got a great hairstyle, Jim too. Picture, Carl. Picture, Tan. Look at my shop with the cop family here. Bring him up. Come on, shop with the cop family. Right up. Shop with the cop family. We are family, trust me. What up, Phil? I'm coming. Hold on. And I'm going to do one more after a centered one. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to take one more. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas exemplary public service employment is of vital importance in assuring provision of services directed toward the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens of any community, and whereas the police department has upon its roster an individual who should be commended for assisting said department in faithfully serving the citizens of this community, and whereas length of service coupled with continued training and positive attitude toward assigned job tasks, make a profile of this dedicated employee. And whereas the Village of Hoffman Estates, on behalf of its citizens, desires to acknowledge its indebtedness and gratitude for 25 years of dedication and proficiency in the aforementioned department, be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and laws of this Village of Hoffman Estates, Hereby proclaim Saturday, December 30th, 2017, as Harry Russman Day in the village of Hoffman Estates and urges all employees and citizens of the village to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation to this employee who may have assisted them with outstanding service. Chair, I'll accept a motion. So, so moved. moved. Second. So motion to second. Uh, we appreciate the great job that Harry has done. 
throughout the years. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Chief, you want to come on up? And I have the next one. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas exemplary public service employment is of vital importance in assuring provision of services directed toward the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens of any community. And whereas the police department upon its roster has an individual who should be commended for assisting said department and faithfully serving the citizens of this community. Whereas the length of service coupled with continued training and positive attitude toward assigned job tasks makes a profile of this dedicated employee. And whereas the village of Hoffman Estates on behalf of the citizens desires to acknowledge its indebtedness and gratitude for 20 years of dedication, proficiency in the aforementioned department. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under by the virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaim Tuesday, December 19th, 2017, as John Benning Day in the village of Hoffman Estates and, and urge all employees and citizens of the village to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation to this employee who may have assisted them with outstanding service. Chair, I'll accept a motion. So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second. We appreciate the great job that uh, John has done and we'll be seeing him again shortly another D.A.R.E. graduation. <laughs> all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. Chief. Once again. Who's next? Uh, I am. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas exemplary public service employment is of vital importance in assuring provision of services directed toward the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens of any community, and whereas the Public Works Department has upon its roster an individual who should be commended for assisting said department in faithfully serving the citizens of this community, and whereas length of service coupled with continued training and positive attitude toward assigned job tasks make a profile of this dedicated employee, and whereas the Village of Hoffman Estates, on behalf of its citizens, desires to acknowledge its indebtedness and gratitude for 20 years of dedication and proficiency in the aforementioned department. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by the virtue of the authority vested in him, by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this Village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaim Friday, January 5th, 2018, as Howard D. Lord Day in the village of Hoffman Estates and urge all employees and citizens of the village to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation to this employee who may have assisted them with outstanding service. Chair, accept the motion. So moved. Second. So motion to second. We appreciate the great job that Howard's done for the past 20 years uh, working on all those vehicles of innumerable uh, descriptions and types. and. Thank you, Trustee Palafis. I know you had a concert for your son you had to go to, but <laughs> Trustee Palafis is in the house. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. Howard, come on up. Picture with Howard, and then we want Bob Marco to come back up and take one with Howard. Okay. Hey, Bob, can you come on up? Deja vu all over again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, who's got the next one? I have the next and last. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. <coughs> 
Whereas the United States of America has historically been a melting pot where people of all national nationalities, religious faiths, and cultures come together as one. And as the strength of our great village rests in the cooperative community of its citizens, and whereas our only hope of establishing peace among diverse peoples is through recognizing our connectedness and common dream of peace on earth, and whereas the first day of a new year typically denotes hopeful expectation and positive resolve in the hearts and minds of our citizens, and whereas the School of Metaphysics, a worldwide organization founded in our country to promote peace, understanding, and goodwill through teaching that living peaceably begins by thinking peacefully, has called for a universal hour of peace over the midnight hour, December 31st, 2017 to January 1st, 2018, be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaims December 31st, 2017 at 11.30 p.m. local time as the universal hour of peace in the village of Hoffman Estates and urges all Hoffman Estates residences, residents and businesses to stand united in common purpose, committing ourselves in thought and action so peace may move across the face of the earth of the dawning of the new year. Chair, I'll accept the motion. So moved. Second. second. Motion to second. We appreciate the uh, great work of the School of Meta Metaphysics. Is Sandy Leitner here? Yes. Come on up. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. You folks want to explain a little bit of what you do with the microphone there? Is that on, Mr. Norris? So uh, we're the School of Metaphysics in Palatine, and we're a 501c3 educational institution. We teach adults to uh, harness their peacefulness, contentment, and security. And every year around this time, we reach out to the neighboring cities and communities to see if they'll sign off on the peace proclamation. And the village of Hoffman Estates is always very eager and gracious. I've been here for the past three years. And I did a little research on Hoffman Estates, and I see that your motto here is growing to greatness, and it shows a lot with your actions. So I really want to thank you on behalf of all of the School of Metaphysics, and may peace be with you always. Thank you. Thank you. And I also brought um, actually a peace ornament that we want to oh, um, share with you all. Wow. And this has the year <coughs> on it and a peace dove that we want to present to you in appreciation for your continued support of our efforts. And also our universal peace covenant that I'd like to give to each one of you. This Great. is what we read at midnight during the universal hour of peace. And all of you are you know, welcome to do that as well, to be united in thought and action if you, if you wish to. Um, this is a document that was created by about 30 different metaphysicians that encompasses what we believe peace moving across the face of the earth really looks like. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. We'll start down there. Right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sure. Okay, we can do that. Up here for a picture. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, you want to hold, what do you hold? You want to do in the picture. Okay, all right. I'm going to see how we're going to do this. Okay. One, two, three. Move over a little. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, we're done with the proclamations, Madam Clerk.
Okay. Receipt of one letter I'd like to read is addressed to Jay Evans of our Public Works Department. Dear Mr. Evans, words cannot adequately express my appreciation and gratitude for your relentless assistance when I was stuck at Hassler Road with my blue Jaguar without my cellular phone. Use your own cell to call the necessary parties to have the car towed. You checked on me several times while I was waiting for the tow truck as mentioned. I have never had such an experience and I would not know what to do without a cellular phone. Your help was a great gift from above. Thank you with all my heart. May the Almighty shower you and your family with countless blessings. More kudos for the Public Works Department, Kelly. Kelly, We appreciate the work that you all do. I do have one appointment, and that is for, for Ms. Sahita Patel to the Planning and Zoning Commission. So moved. I'll second. There's a motion. There's a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Um, this past Saturday, most of us were able to attend the skate with the Santa at uh, the Trippon Center on the ice with a skating Santa and Mrs. Claus, and we gave out candy canes to everyone involved. And uh, this evening, we had a reception for Declan Rusté, who's a track champion from Hoffman Estates High School. Thanks to his speed and endurance, the Mid-Suburban League captured state titles in the 100, 200, 400 meter events. All in the same state meet for the first time in state history. Declan took home two of those titles while a Barrington High School student took home the 400 meter title. Declan's speed speak for itself. He burst through 100 meter in 10.54 seconds. In his 200 meter race, he went on to win on a personal and school bus with a time of 21.57 seconds. There's no doubt that Hoffman State's high school team is on the fast track to success with Declan on board. And he's only a junior for the really good news. <laughs> and that's that. I, all that I have at this point in time. Let's go to Trustee Comments. We'll start with Trustee Arnett. Um, thank you. Also on Saturday, I had uh, the pleasure of attending Skate with Santa. Uh, I did not skate, but I did pass out candy canes. And it was a very, very good turnout. I was very impressed. That's all I have. Okay, Trustee Stanton. Uh, let's see, on the 8th, I was able to attend the Windy City Bulls for the Hoffman Estates Appreci Appreciation Night. I seem to be tripping over my tongue tonight. On the 9th, I was able to stop by the Village Hall here for the Youth Commission Art Event. And on the 12th, I had a chance to meet with uh, Mr. J.B. Pritzker, with the mayor and I uh, going into attendance to the meet and greet, which was in Glenview, and we met with some of the other mayors also in the northwest suburbs. That's it. Okay, Trustee Mills. On the uh, 8th of December, I also was at the Windy City Bulls Hoffman Estates Appreciation Night, and they had a great crowd there that night to uh, enjoy a basketball game, even though, unfortunately, they lost. It was fun. On the next day, on the 9th, uh, my family and I attended the Park District's Breakfast with Santa, their annual um, event, and it was a great turnout, and a great. they have a great Santa that that attends there with the kids. And also that the, afterwards they had their winter fest outside on Poplar Creek Golf Course, which was also fun. Mm -hmm. um, tonight we had the reception for Declan Rusté, which is an excellent example of uh, our students and some great teenagers in town. And on the 12th, I got to be a, a proud grandmother and went to my 10-year-old granddaughter's violin debut out in Sycamore. Cool. Huh? And they were great. They were all in, in, in sync with each other, which was amazing in itself. So that's it. That's great. And that's Merry great. Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever el other event that you celebrate. This is our last meeting of the year, and I want to thank staff and everyone here for all that you've done to uh, enhance our village. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Trustee Palafas. Like Trustee Mills, I wanted to uh, thank our staff. And, uh, you know, we made it through another year. Uh, thanks for all the great work all of you do, all of you and all of your people. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, other than, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, that's all I have to share. Thank great. you. Great. Trustee Newell. Okay, just a couple of short things. On the night, the youth art event, which was really a lot of fun to attend, uh, all the creative minds going. Mm -hmm. um, on the 15th, um, condolences uh, to the Bergman family. Uh, they had the wake. Um, on the 16th, of course, we did the candy cane pass out. No skating with Santa. We just <laughs> waved at him. That was enough. <laughs> um, this evening, congrats to uh, Declan Rusday. Um, Hopefully he'll do it again next year. 
And to everyone, whether your staff, residents, or the board up here, have a safe and a happy holiday, no matter what holiday you celebrate. Thank you. Trustee Gata. There we go. On Saturday the 9th, we <laughs> attended the, um, yes, right? Uh -uh. The um, Commission Art event, which was here. And it, it is fun to watch these little kids, right, it, trying to paint without getting it on themselves, which was really something else. Anyways, and then on the 16th, we all attended the uh, Skate with Santa at uh, the Tripon Center. And just like uh, one of you said, right, what a crowd. I mean, there was over 400 kids there. And I don't think we missed anybody as far as giving the candy cane. And the thing is that the mayor and trustees uh, Newell and Arnett and Clerk Romanoff was with us also. So that made it easier. And congratulations to Declan. Um, and for the staff for putting up with us, right, for a whole year <laughs> so you can relax for a few weeks and we're coming right back, okay. <laughs> And I'll be safe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Trustee Gaeta. Move on to 6C Village Manager's Report. You can't top that. Happy holidays. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm sure the village clerk has something to say. I do. I do. Um, two weeks ago, I had said that the state of Illinois was not, we our driver's licenses and everything, you're going to need a passport to travel anywhere. Um, we've been granted an extension until October. So we've got, and it's on our website, so. Great. Um, got a few more months for the state to, at least in this passport, um, real ID piece, get their act straightened out. Maybe there's more hope for that than anything else in the state to get done. That's it. Okay, we hope so. 60 Treasurer's Report. Village Treasurer has prepared his report for the month of October, and it's ready for your review. Chair would accept a motion. So moved. There's a motion to second. Any questions on the Treasurer's Report? See, no questions. This is a motion to accept the treasurer's report. Can you po poll the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Planning and Zoning Commission reports. 7A, request by Itasca Bank and Trust Company, Trust Number 12551, Owner and Stonegate Properties, Inc., applicant for a site plan amendment. For a second drive through on the property located 2061-2071 North Burrington Road with five conditions, see packets, uh, so, motion failed, and item was deferred, see the minutes of December 4th, 2017. So moved. Second. So what is the motion for? To accept. But it's well, a denial. No, it's a it's denial. It's Mr. Copland, do you want to uh, oh, that's right. this roll is through what's happening here? Uh, the motion at the Planning Commission was um, failed, so a positive vote uh, by the board would uphold uh, the, uh, the denial. The denial. Um, Corporation Council can respond to the voting procedure. Yes, no. It's a site plan. I thought we voted the uh, motion for reconsideration the last and time. We deferred it to this meeting, so this is the actual disposition of the Planning and Zoning Commission report. That is correct. And um, it's not a zoning or a site plan, so it doesn't take a special majority or anything. It's only, it's excuse me, it's not a rezoning or a special use. It's only a site plan, which is a simple majority of the board. If you want the, to approve the site plan, you would need to vote against mm -hmm. this motion and then do a motion to approve. Is there a motion? Yeah, we already yeah, made, we already made the motion. motion. Okay. Yeah. Is there any discussion? Yes. Um, a memo in your packet. Uh, there are three conditions that if yeah. the board wants to move ahead that the staff is recommending be changed. Um, position uh, number 1A, um, related to the shared parking since that those documents have found to be an order by corporation council for recommending that that condition be revised to say this site plan amendment shall only be valid as long as the subject properties tenants have a documented legal right to use the northwest corporate center parking spaces immediately adjacent to the east of the subject property it's very similar what we've done in other shared parking um, areas uh, then condition a3 um, 
should be re because there is the whole issue of where the signs will be located. And, and uh, if I remember correctly, the trustee Stanton or trustee Mills asked about that. Uh, we're proposing as part of that condition that it comes back through uh, committee to make sure that the sign is, are acceptable to the board. So it says prior to issuance of a tenant build out permit for the Jimmy John's unit, the petitioner shall submit a comprehensive wayfinding plan for the property that's, that provides guidance to drivers using the dual purpose drive through and addresses any permitted offsite and rear parking that will serve tenants of the building. The plan shall be subject to review and approval by the village board through the planning building and zoning committee. It may include pavement striping instructional slash directional signage as allowed by the village sign code. Then the last one is condition A4. All property maintenance violations on the subject property shall be corrected prior to the issuance of any occupancy permit for the Jimmy John space or by January 31st, 2018, yeah, whichever comes first. That. Okay. So we're recommending those changes to the conditions. Is there a motion to accept those are changes? Are these changes, excuse me, are these changes to A or just to B? It would be to A. They were A1, A3, A1, A3 and A4. A4. Okay, they are, okay. I'll make a motion to amend the original um, conditions to reflect as written. I'll second. Motion to second. All in favor of that amendment say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Now, we already have an amendment on the floor. Nobody else has anything to say. Can you pull the board man and clerk? Trustee Stanton. Nay. Trustee Gata. Nay. Trustee Arnett. Nay. Trustee Mills. Nay. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Palafis. Nay. I'm sorry, Mayor McLeod. I was writing Aye. down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That motion went down. Is there a new motion? Make a motion to uh, approve the request by Atasca Bank and Trust Company, Trust 12551, owner in Stonegate Properties Incorporated, applicant for a site plan amendment for a second drive through on the property located at 2061 to 2071 North Barrington Road with, I guess, eight conditions now. No, or it'll is be it? five amended, can, with five as amended. amended. Five amended conditions. Including the amendments that were just yeah. turned down there. Because it's still five conditions. Right. Okay. The amendments for A1, A3, and A4. As said. I'll second. Okay, motion to second. Any discussion on these? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Do we have to do a, you have to do a roll call vote on this. We have to do a roll call on that, right. don't we? Right, right. Want to pull the board, Madam Clerk? Yeah. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. 7B. Request by Tasca Bank and Trust Company, owner and Stonegate Properties, <coughs> applicant for variation under Section 9-3-8-M-10-E-1 of the Zoning Code to admit a third 11-square-foot menu board sign an additional ground sign, three square foot speaker post on the property located at 2061, 2071 North Barrington Road with four conditions. Again, this was uh, turned down by the- I'll make a motion. Zoning. Second. This is a motion to sustain the finding of the uh, Planning and Zoning Commission. There's a motion to second. There's no Trust need to change any conditions on this one? No, ma'am. Okay. Hey, any other discussion on this? Seeing none, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Nay. Trustee Gata. Nay. Trustee Arnett. Nay. Trustee Mills. Nay. Trustee Newell. Aye. Um, and Mayor McLeod. Aye. Uh, motion defeated. Is there another motion? I'm an A. What's your motion? Um, I'll make a motion to approve the request by Atasca Bank and Trust Company Trust. One two two one two five five one owner and Stonegate Properties Inc. applicant for a variation section under section nine dash three dash eight dash M dash ten dash E dash one of the zoning code to permit a third eleven square foot menu board sign and an additional ground sign three square foot speaker post on the property located at twenty sixty one to twenty seventeen one North Barrington Road with four conditions. Second. There's a motion of second. Any discussion on this one? See no discussion. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Aye. Trustee Gata. Aye. Trustee Arnett. Aye. Trustee Mills. Aye. Trustee Newell. Aye. Mayor McLeod. No. Uh, motion carried. Um, can I ask a question? Yeah. For the Corporation Council. 
this says of the detailed zoning code, even though it's signed, what I have is that you need two thirds of the favorable vote of the trustees to overrode a negative recommendation on a zoning variance. Well, you got more than that. Two thirds of the trustees would be we had four. That was your vote, was it? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. I so, that's okay. Most of you hear this stuff can get to be confusing. Okay, move on to eight additional business. Uh, there is no additional business. Nine, Chair, accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. A second. Motion a second. Any discussion on this? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. We are adjourned until next year. Happy holidays. Happy New Year.